Good afternoon, it's NTV and we're live from Kampala Serena Conference Center. Now, the Ugandan cabinet approved the national teacher policy on 1st of April 2019. The policy is to aim is to streamline teachers' management for better productivity, discipline, retention and motivation. In the same way, the NTP was one of the key activities supported by UNESCO through the Capacity Development for Education. And this is a program in the Ugandan education sector. Now, key priorities of the policy will include, first, the establishment of the National Teacher Council by an act of parliament to professionalize the teaching profession. And the council will be responsible for the registration of teachers, licensing and accreditation of teachers. It will also establish the Ugandan National Institute of Teacher Education to provide leaders in capacity development and training of tutors. Joining me today on site to discuss the implementation of the implementation phase of the entire policy. Among my panelists, I have Ms. Caroline Kavuma, lecturer, Chambogo University, and UNITA Secretariat Coordinator. We have Professor Joseph Onyu, School of Education, Makerela University, and chairperson of the UNITA Task Force. And we also have Dr. Joyce Aikoru Asimwe, Dean, Faculty of Education, Chambogo University and I'm Andrew Chamagero and this show remember is sponsored by UNESCO under the Norwegian Teachers Initiative in collaboration with the Minister of Education and Sports. Those joining us online to be part of this conversation the hashtag is national teacher policy. Good afternoon my panel. Afternoon. It's an honor to have you here today this is the last serialized conversation and from where we started from the legal framework what we should expect as a nation, what is our call to action as teachers and the parents getting confidence in what awaits in the next few uh, years as and when this is already up in action. I'll start with you, Professor. Please, given that you're the chairperson of UNITE, you're leading a big, big role as per the framework of the, of, of the entire policy. Please try to bring it to speed. What is UNITE? Uh, good afternoon, viewers. Mm. Uh, this is a very exciting moment for mm. all of us and for the country. Mm. Uh, UNITE is an acronym for uh, the Uganda um, National Institute for Teacher Education. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an institute that was or is going to be established um, as recommended by the uh, National Teacher Policy. Mm. Uh, it is supposed to be an autonomous organization to coordinate uh, the activities of teacher education, right from the initial teacher training, uh, CPDs, those are continuous professional development programs, mm. and also to take on the role of uh, leadership in our educational institutions. Mm. So it's uh, an institute that is going to play a very critical role mm. in the implementation of the national teacher policy mm. and in rebranding or making the, the, the teacher uh, a significant force in the, trans the transition wow. of this country. It seems to have a very uh, cardinal mm. role coming, going forward. But why do we need such an institute as a nation? Uh, one, um, the, 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 the role of a specialized institution like the National uh, Institute for Teacher Education mm -hmm. is uh, to, uh, one, um, set standards uh, for the teaching profession and, and the practices. Um, there are very many players mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, that train teachers and so forth, but we would like to ensure that the standards that are being followed are generally okay for the country and mm -hmm. for the development of the country. Number two, we need to uh, particularly strengthen our, uh, our training systems, including the, the continuous professional development. Mm -hmm. For a very long time, there are teachers who, when they leave the teacher training institution, uh, they, they never go for any of those in-service training. Yes, oh, and, yes. and the world is very fast, it's changing very fast. Mm. You need to, um, to, be, to come up to speed with many changes that are taking place, and the teachers need mm. to do that. The teachers need to be ahead of the learners. Oh, yeah. We don't want the learners to be ahead of the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, thirdly, we, 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 we need to ensure that um, the, the leaders of our education institutions mm. are actually trained and given those competences that are required mm. to lead these institutions. As um, you can probably appreciate, 
the difference between institution one and institution two sometimes mm -hmm. is in the quality of the leadership. True. In terms of learning outcomes, in terms of the environment, the working environment, and mm -hmm. so forth. And uh, we believe that uh, UNITE uh, will kind of provide um, a stage where now the implementation of the policy mm. will, will, will be carried out. Um, the beauty about this is that uh, a teacher should not be worried at any one time that um, because I am a teacher of mathematics or a teacher of English or biography, that I, I don't qualify to go for leadership. So with the new set standards of the policy, one can become a leader within the profession, mm -hmm. but after having gone through the different CPTs and they yes, achieve them. Exactly. Oh, interesting. Now coming to you, Caroline, you as one of those people who are key in this, we need to know what changes will this bring in the teaching, um, in the teaching practice or the, the entire industry with the establishment of UNITA because from his um, submission, it's very exciting. It's, um, it gives me confidence as a parent and um, any student watching this is like, now our teachers will have uh, more like people who keep checking them that they're actually up to standards. But besides that, what changes should we expect as Ugandans? Well, thank you very much. Mm. And uh, good afternoon viewers. It's an exciting mm. institution, UNITE. Okay. What changes will it bring? Mm. Uh, the first and major change, which we see as a big one, mm. is the fact that all teachers will be trained from a degree level. The issue of progressing from certificate mm. to, diploma to diploma to whatever will mm. not happen. Okay. So in a way, it's done to build the teacher's self-esteem. Mm. The teacher will be able to feel that, okay, we are all at par. Mm -hmm. We all are contributing to mm. teaching and all of us are, are respected. Mm -hmm. Because at one time, there is a way a teacher who is secondary will overlook the one who is teaching P1. No, I, 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 I've seen those ones who teach yes. primary. Yes. And um, the one teaching primary, by luck, maybe he has a degree. Mm -hmm. And the ones teaching nursery mm -hmm. have a degree and a postgraduate. But because the, the class of the pupils they are attending to, for some reason, there they is that imbalance. Yeah, I, I totally so understand that. So I think what you need to will really do is mm. to try to help teachers be themselves and know that we are the same. Mm -hmm. And it's by choice that I'm coming to teach young children. Mm -hmm. It's not because I am less or I'm a less thinker mm -hmm. or I'm a less performer. Mm -hmm. So I am hidden in P1. I'm only coming because it's by choice. Yeah. I want to be a lower primary teacher. I want to be a pre-primary teacher. Mm -hmm. I want to be... Uh, a teacher at secondary level mm. or I want to be an instructor. So we are opening up a channel for teachers to choose the areas they would like to do mm. and uh, they feel happy about mm. that they are doing a contribution. They are not only teaching for salary, but they are doing a contribution to the country. They are coming in to be able to serve their Uganda, but serving it at the level they've chosen. And so they enjoy what they are doing. Nice. They do it with passion mm. and, they, and then they they are able to feel satisfied because at least for every worker, I mm. think it's uh, feeling happy that you are The passion where you are, yes. absolutely. It's not really about any other thing. And mm. we want our teachers to attain that level of satisfaction. And then the other one mm. is that um, after the old teachers coming in with at entry with a degree, mm. we shall have uh, these teachers do the specialization which Professor New has already talked about, mm. uh, that uh, you don't need to be worried Mm. Because teachers have been always worried that uh, for you to be recognized promoted. And, yeah, and promoted, mm. you can only try and, uh, and, f and figure out and try to yeah. use all the means possible to mm. enter into leadership. Because mm. that's your real area where you can really feel happy mm. and uh, self-actualized. Mm. You know, in Maslow's needs, we all have to actualize ourselves. Yes. So teachers are going to actualize themselves even in the classroom. Nice. If you're a very good classroom teacher, you will specialize in the areas you feel happy about, mm. but that won't affect your salary. And so Unity will be able to train specialized programs mm. for teachers in all subjects, in professional courses, and in the leadership which Professor has talked about. Mm. And that will bring a new brand, a new look into teaching that means that, uh, okay, 
everybody is able to perform where they are. And the leader should not overlook the P1 teacher or the classroom teacher. Oh, yeah. You are only there because that was your choice. That's what you specialize in. And, and we won't in. have a deputy head teacher or um, um, a principal because he's good at mathematics and he's uh -huh. good at public relations. But yes. it's on merit. Yes, it's on merit. he's gone through different uh, trainings and CPTs and yes. then he qualifies. Yes. Okay. Well, that is a great conversation. Coming to you, Dr. Uh, Joyce uh, Asimwe. Yeah. When you look at all these, um, I want to understand... How does UNITA intend to address the issue of effective delivery of teaching and learning, the CPDs? When we're here, um, in our last uh, conversation, they said there are yardsticks that are going to be done. But now UNITA comes as the implementing tool or the implementing institute to make sure that these deliveries are actually feasible on the ground and the teachers can achieve them. So how does UNITA intend to address that? Okay, thank you, Andrew, mm. and uh, good afternoon, viewers. Andrew, I, I want to first define what effective teaching is. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, when we talk of uh, effective teaching, mm. we are talking about uh, teaching that is successful in producing its intended objectives. Effective. Wow. Now, here the intended... Uh, outputs or the intended target mm. is achieving learning outcomes. You've had time and again mm. that our children may not actually be attaining mm. the outcomes that they are supposed to attain at a given level. Mm. So when we talk about successful mm. uh, or effective teaching, then we are looking at that teaching which is able to actually achieve the learning outcomes mm -hmm. at a defined level of study. Nice. Now, as an uh, education sector, mm. you are aware that uh, we are in the era of SDGs and uh, our actually defining activity within SDGs, SDG 4, where we are talking about uh, um, inclusive education, we are talking about equitable and quality education, mm -hmm. and we are talking about promoting lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. Now, these are concepts which may not have been of focus in the past oh, yeah. years. Mm -hmm. But now that they are at the front line of education, the UN, the Dakar framework, mm. actually defined the role of the teacher in attaining SDG 4. Mm. Mm. And they were very categorical mm. to mention that in order for the teacher to be able to play the kind of role that they should be playing in implementing SDG 4, then we must pay attention to the status of the teacher, mm we must pay attention to the professionalism of the teacher. Mm. And we must pay attention to the new competences that are required of the teacher in order to deliver on this SDG target mm -hmm. that we are all you know, are struggling and focusing on. Mm. So that means that uh, the kind of teacher that uh, we are now looking at is a teacher that must be defined in terms of the successful outcome that we desire of mm. our education system. So meaning that this teacher must have a set of characteristics which must be defined. And this is what the teacher policy has attempted to define mm. and this is what UNITE will try to actualize mm. in terms of you know implementing the teacher policy. Mm. We are looking at a teacher who is able to have competences that can sustain mm. this effective teaching and learning. And then we are saying that these competences are varied because we are looking at knowledge, which knowledge can be acquired from college. Mm. We are looking at uh, skills that may be acquired while in training or 
continuously acquired through support systems. We are looking at behavioral co uh, mm. competences that a teacher must have in order to stay up to the requirements of the 21st century. I love the, I, I love the behavior bit because, I believe you me, we have run stories here and the, in the mainstream media where a teacher possibly has done a grave national crime mm -hmm. in Kampala mm -hmm. and um, he leaves Kampala and goes to Kamding mm -hmm. and he applies mm -hmm. and he gets a job mm -hmm. and uh, maybe he does it in Kamding and goes to Mitoma yeah. mm -hmm. and gets a job mm -hmm. and we have seen teachers who are drunkards but students like these teachers because they are brilliant <laughs> and b by some chance when they teach you pick faster than <laughs> any other part but they're shabby they are drunk and so when you talk about the behaviors i can mm. now see the rebranding of the of the outlook of a teacher yeah mm. from unity's angle mm. exactly wow yeah so we are also looking at the personal development competences mm. of the teacher mm. because addressing the sdg4 uh, of lifelong learning mm. requires you to have a teacher who has personal development competencies mm. who will be you know uh, very keen to learn new things who will be very keen to undertake trainings who will be very keen to join communities of practice mm. who will be very keen to join partnerships to enhance his or her teaching and learning, mm. who will be very keen actually to attend CPDs. Mm. Because uh, Professor here was saying that there are teachers who trained 20 years ago and have never attended any single CPD. True. So those competences should enable a teacher to actually think about developing himself or herself mm. without somebody being at, the, at his or her back. But having said that, mm. We are saying that uh, the national teacher policy lays a great deal of emphasis on teacher professional development, mm. continuous professional development. Mm. And this is just not going to be by choice. This is going to count towards a teacher's promotion. Mm -hmm. And this is going to count towards a teacher's salary enhancement. Because if you are promoted... Please say that again, because um, <laughs> that, that's where the biggest gist is. Um, it, it will go again. Um, Dr. Joyce, uh, just go back a bit. It will enhance, it will equally reflect on the payment, on the seller. Now, <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> I, want, I want to tag this mm. to promotion. Yes. Mm. Once you're promoted in mm. civil service, mm. it means you go a notch higher mm. than where you have been. Oh, yes, mm. So the expectation is that actually if I have attained mm. the required level of CPDs mm. to move me to another level, yes. mm. naturally, mm. I would also expect that, you know, that level is remunerated mm. according to the provisions in the teacher's in the service framework. Mm. Yeah, framework. Yeah, so nice. I think... Uh, you see, that, that's where the problem was. And <laughs> why, I, why, why I said you go slow there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. we have had teachers who um, possibly around grade five, but they're they are paid like grade two or grade three. Mm. Um, there are those who have gone for masters, but they have remained in class teaching the same subject. Mm -hmm. And all this has not been factored in mm -hmm. one or the other, so mm -hmm. in a way it demotivates. So yeah. mm -hmm. whenever I hear salary increment vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis the CPDs, mm -hmm. of course I'll come through. Yes. So yeah. Professor, um, before she leaves that, so how does Anita intend to address the issue of um, weak school leadership, especially in public schools? Thank you very much. Yeah. I, I think it's not only in public schools, but yeah. also in, okay, in our schools. In our issue. schools, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this is a very important aspect because mm. uh, the quality of leadership in a school actually determines a lot of other things. Very the learning outcomes she has talked about, mm. the environment in which teachers operate, mm. the motivation they have. Because motivation is not only the money, but it's also how your leader appreciates what the you do. The working environment. The working environment mm. and so forth. Mm. So uh, UNIT is, is, is taking this as uh, a significant uh, uh, aspect that is going to follow mm. because uh, uh, we value that we should improve our leadership in many of our education Indeed. institutions. 
There was a time, I think, in the 70s, 80s, mm. uh, you could move from uh, Kitgum and, and go and study in, uh, mm. in, in, in Kigezi High School. Yeah. And, and, and Kabale. Kabale, the standards were about the same, and me the leadership got me was. from Central and took me to Mwiri. Exactly. Mm. So, mm. Yeah. Uh, mm. The appreciation of the culture. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Side, exactly. Know. So uh, UNITE is, 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 is going to focus on the giving the competences that these leaders need. Mm. Uh, competences uh, uh, such as in, 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 in providing a strategic direction mm. for the institution, mm. uh, pro people management skills, um, mentoring and induction and supporting teachers. Because uh, in many of these uh, institutions, uh, the mentorship uh, structures are not there. Mm -mm. Mm. You get into there as a new teacher and, and they just leave it to you. you yeah. They just show you the class and so forth. Mm. Yeah. So we want leadership that can probably mentor this and, and, and provide even possibilities of <coughs> identifying who among these young uh, teachers can get into the leadership. Mm. And uh, what is interesting is that uh, we, we have got those alternative career paths. Nice. Yeah. So um, UNITE will provide these competences, and some of them we, we are thinking alongside uh, providing a competence-based, uh, flexible, modular uh, curriculum, mm -hmm. even for CPDs, so that uh, the teachers, the head teachers who are currently out there can come on some special days and undergo the training go and implement a project, come and so forth. So we're talking about uh, some modularized uh, uh, form of uh, competence-based training. Mm. Yeah. Well, this is interesting. If one listens to this, and how I wish I was born when this was <laughs> made up. <laughs> either way, my <laughs> daughters and sons will appreciate yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Caroline, yes. so what will be the role of UNITE in implementing the entire policy? Because now we have understood what it stands for, we have understood the different mechanisms it has in place, but where does this fall in the role to bring yeah. up the bigger picture of the policy? Thank you very much. Mm. UNITE is going to be a training institution, but also managing all the other training institutions ah. across the country. Mm -hmm. So all TTIs, which are teacher training institutions, are going to be managed mm. under UNITE mm -hmm. to look at the standards We've been having teachers trained in uh, Chambogo, trained mm. in Makerere, trained mm. in uh, maybe in Bale University, mm. and they come out a bit different. But here we are going to develop a harmonized training framework. framework. Mm -hmm. And that training framework or curriculum is going to guide all implementers of programs to Those follow the OTTs. Yes, the TTIs, uh, yes. Mm. to follow that particular framework mm. so that they, they are also going to be examined with the national examination where the teacher, where you are trained in Imbale, or Chambogo, mm. or Makerere, you will be uh, assessed mm. on those skills, on all those competences that you had professors talk about. Mm. Do all the teachers who are trained have these competences? Mm -hmm. Are they all at par? So the harmonized training framework is what UNITA will put in place, mm. and it will guide all institutions that are training to follow that curriculum when they are de developing their curricula. And then another thing will be on developing teacher autonomy. Mm. You know our teachers mm. have been mm. lacking in autonomy. Mm -hmm. Mm. You find a teacher who is swayed. When a, a, anybody comes, they sway them. Mm. You see, we, we are now giving, they are giving exams which are from CIPRO. Mm -hmm. But we want a teacher to know that it's I. I've left everything to come and teach. Mm. Mm. I've left everything to come and be in charge of these children. Mm. So I know what they need. Mm. I have studied them. And I, I, I am very well informed about, about what they should learn and how mm. I should assess. You know so that autonomy is important. Wh mm. What scared me when I read the TISA report um, and, and, and I got so scared about the 47% that could be swayed away yeah. in yes. case yeah. mm. any other opportunity avails yeah. itself yeah. 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 and it's more paying, mm. Mm. they mm. could leave the profession. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So UNITY is going to make sure that they stay grounded in one or yeah. the other. They stay yeah. grounded wow. and they stay interested, mm. they stay motivated and they are professional in mm. a sense that I, I don't just ignore my class. Mm. I prioritize my class because today we see teachers who don't care whether mm. they are in class 
or they are not. Mm. So they have to be pushed by some other leader. Mm. But now we want them to voluntarily know and be accountable to, to the, the child yeah. that I'm away, but so and so is going to be taking care of you. Mm. And they feel that their job is wow. paramount. Their role is not a by the way, and they are not helping anybody. They mm. are just doing a service to this country, and they are obliged to. So that they respect the learner, they respect their job, wow. they feel that... And no there is a return to investment from yes, me yes. as a yes. parent. Yes, yes. yes. exactly. Uh -huh. mm. And maybe what I would also add is mm. that uh, we, we are going to work on what we call the teacher symbolism. I mm. would like the teachers to identify with who they are, the way the lawyers do, the way the mm. accountants do, mm. so mm. that there are standards and codes. That the lawyers call themselves my land, land friends. friends. My and land for friends. us, we are learning friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, and the, current, the current on the ground, when mm. you ask um, um, a teacher profession and say, so what's a person? Ah, I'm a mere teacher. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Now, now yeah. that yeah. disturbs mm. when, mm. when, when, when you know the role they mm. play to yes. the capacity and the yeah. nation building. Yeah. Sure. Mm. So and say, me, me, I'm just a mere teacher. Mm. Um, no, no, no. They think that's what uh, Dr. Uh, Aikuru alluded to that's earlier, that them. to give the confidence and yeah. the esteem that mm. we can stand on the same forums mm. and I'm mm. a lawyer and... Yeah. Uh, I'm a, a, a teacher, teacher. Yes. and I'm a journalist, and yeah. we can still have the exactly. same conversations. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Mm. Uh, so that is the big role of United, United. to bring about the mm. NTP. Yes. Mm. yes. Mm. They are going to you. They are going to bring about teacher symbolism mm. that the teacher will identify with certain behavior, and all teachers will come to task him. Mm -hmm. on what he's doing. So it's because a culture they, they being yeah, developed. Yes, a culture, culture being developed. Mm. Teachers should feel embarrassed if I embarrass them. Mm. Teachers should feel sorry if the teacher has done something that's not theirs and mm. they should put the teacher to book. Yeah. And the teacher should also be accountable to the fellow mm. teachers mm. before it hasn't been. So there will be standards the teachers are required to put or to follow mm. and to observe. Nice. Mm. I want there are people who know that, okay, if I'm a teacher, should I really be eating fish? Mm. That's what a legal, <laughs> <laughs> legal class, should I eat fish in the office? Oh, yes. Should I eat before my pupils? Mm. Where should I be buying my food? Mm. Yeah. Should I yeah. just pick any cassoli on the road and I eat <laughs> and it I eat and, I take yeah. and I walk away with yes. it? Yeah. Are my children not looking at me? Mm. So there are little, little behavior and habits mm. that we have to drop mm. in order to defend ourselves and rebrand ourselves into a profession that's admirable by our children. Wow. Mm. Yes. It's a conversation we're still having those joining mm. us online. The hashtag is National Teacher Policy. And this happens to be our fourth serialized conversation about this policy that is already underway. And um, we want to thank the UNESCO under the Norwegian Teacher Initiative for making this come to light and the Minister of Education and Sports. We're taking a breather and we'll be back shortly. Keep your feedback coming on Twitter. I'll sample a few in a bit. It's still NTV and we're live from Kampala Svena Conference Center. I'm Andrew Chamagiro. The conversation is about the national teacher policy. And with me in studios, I have experts. I have a professor. I have a doctor. I have a, a focal person, an expert still in the Ministry of Education and Sports. And we're discussing about the national teacher policy. This is the fourth serialized conversation about the teacher policy and it's sponsored by the UNESCO under the Norwegian Teacher Initiative with the Minister of Education and Sports. Now, Ali Ron, Yona Katantazi, you've asked a question about the billions of money that is allocated to the teachers um, under the unions, but uh, this is an implementing arm under the teacher policies, so they can't respond to that. But as and when that comes up, they will be in position too. And um, there is, uh, uh, this goes to... This could be going to you, Caro. They're saying that uh, we know the teachers don't care whether they're in class or not. And someone says, given that now you know how teachers behave and the attitude of whether you attend, whether I attend class or not, I'll be paid. How is UNITA going to mitigate through this? It's a question coming in from Justin here. Yeah. Yes. So you, you handle that immediately. I can okay. go to Joyce before you answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, okay. The person who has raised that question. Mm. You know, teacher accountability and teacher responsibility is everybody's role. Absolutely. So the parents 
and the LOC chairs, the local council, the foundation bodies, mm. the, 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 the district inspectors, all of us are responsible to see that teachers are performing. Mm -hmm. So that person who has been looking at teachers not mm. performing and not telling them anything is equally to mm. blame. Okay. So we, what UNITE will do? UNITE is going to give the teachers a package mm. that is going to make them responsible, to even feel shy to, stand to cheat the learner. Mm. So we are packaging our content in such a way that a teacher will feel embarrassed himself not to go to class. I guess they better do because <laughs> what, what she just <laughs> said online, it's what some teachers <laughs> used even to speak to our faces. Yeah. Yes. That whether you you guys go to mm. class or not, I'll mm. be paid at the end of yes. the day. Mm. And it felt to be like you at his mercy mm. as no. and when he wishes mm. to. Mm. No. So this time around it won't be it the same. And teachers and will not, once they go through what the training package will be, mm. Once we give them the standardized, because UNITA is to standardize, mm -hmm. is to harmonize, yes. is to brand mm. and say, I am a teacher. And that my profession defines me. Mm. And that we are asking them to be accountable to their country and to the children. Mm. So the package will help them to themselves. So you know, the way you trained them, you remember we are going to change. You said what will change. Yeah. Not two years, but mm. four, four years, years. Mm. of being groomed to become. Mm. You see, it's very important to become. Some teachers, I think, go through training, but they, they never become. Mm. <laughs> so now they are going to become teachers. Okay. And once they become teachers, the teachers, we, we know mm. every teacher is passionate. And mm. teachers who taught us, and even us when we were teaching, we always almost shed tears mm. to see a child not learning to see a child failing. Mm. So this is what we want to come back, mm. that teachers will feel bad. Why is this child not f passing? And we will feel embarrassed not to report to school mm. or to go to class. So they will be monitoring. It is self-accounting, self-efficacy, mm. being able to monitor myself mm. and uh, being able to also blame myself for not doing what I'm required to do. Mm. Then the rest of the public is also going to be sensitized to come. To come. And then there will be a National Teacher Council. Yeah, National mm. Teacher yeah. Council. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I think, mm. uh, yeah. Professor, you wanted to, yes. to, yes. to engage mm. more about this. Yes, yes I, I, I wanted just to say that um, uh, UNITE will be working uh, with uh, the institutions which are there, like the National Teacher Council. Mm. The National Teacher Council will regulate uh, and ensure that the behavior of the teachers is in conformity yes. with the standards which have been set. Mm. Uh, that is what happens in the law council, for example. Mm. Should uh, the learned friend mm. uh, <laughs> maybe abscond with money yes. and so forth. Or the engineers. Or the engineers and mm. so forth. So that is what is going to happen. Mm. We're going to ensure that um, we work together to, 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 to discourage malpractices, bad mm. behavior, and so yeah. forth. Wow. Yeah. That is very exciting. Uh, coming back to you, Joyce, a lot has been said, and uh, people are anxious uh, about the transition. Mm. Previously, we were just at Chambogo, and possibly some people were used to it. Mm -hmm. But now, um, teachers are anxious about the transition to all of them being graduates, mm. that it's not going to be... Um, a last resort kind of profession. <laughs> <laughs> now it's going to be for graduates. Yes. That you went there on merit. <laughs> now, yeah. how does UNITA intend to address the issue of transition? We're coming from Chambogo and now we're going to be at this one particular institute that's going to oversee the entire system. Mm. Thank you, Andrew. Mm. Uh, transition denotes change mm. and change denotes a process. Mm. And uh, I want to say here that uh, this transition is not going to take place overnight. True. The policy already has elaborate provision mm. for how teachers are going to transition from whatever level they are now, particularly mm. those that are not uh, degree holders, mm. to the level that is expected by the policy. Mm. And that level is a bachelor's level. So we currently have teachers who are upgrading at certificate level mm. that the Ministry of Education and Sports is very much aware of. Mm. And uh, these, these uh, candidates will continue and finish that level at certificate level. Mm. We have teachers, teacher trainees mm. currently at diploma level. They will also continue and finish that level. But there will be a framework mm. 
UNITE will work out a framework to guide on how these teachers can transition from certificate or diploma level mm. to the bachelor's level. Mm. And the policy has given 10 years mm. to for one to upgrade, for one to, mm. upgrade to the required level. Mm. And uh, in all intents, really 10 years is a period long enough mm. to enable somebody who is currently at certificate level mm. to attain a bachelor's level. Mm. Because to move to a diploma, you need two years. And to move to another bachelor's level, mm -hmm. you need two to three years. Mm. So we are actually talking about five years at a minimum. Mm. But now an additional five years has been given so that we have a transition period of 10 years mm. to cover this bulk of teachers who may need to transition from one level to another mm. in order to attain that level of bachelor's which is required now mm. by policy and uh, uh, b b before you leave that there is a question that just came through and i, I can't let it go mm. so someone here says that so what happens of a teacher who is taught for the last 30 years mm -hmm. uh, possibly he has a diploma mm -hmm. and has been teaching f with all that experience and his students have been passing mm. greatly <laughs> <laughs> and this comes in proportion Mm. So, does this person as well have to go back in the new CPTDs, CPDs that mm. he has to deliver to that magnitude? Does he have to upgrade that he meets these standards? Yes, by policy, nice. this person has to upgrade. It's mandatory then? It's mandatory. That uh, the policy, the level, the lowest level is a bachelor's level. Mm. That's so, Depending mm. on ex ex yes. yes. Mm. Okay. But teaching is also not about having children to pass. Mm. Mm. Teaching is also many other skills. For example, mm. the teacher might have been taken overtaken by events mm. in regard to COVID nineteen, in oh regard yeah. to managing HIV, mm. the psychosocial parts of the children, mm. aspect of the child. Mm. So many teachers are teaching the brain mm. and not working on the attitude mm. and mm. the skills. So I think every ah. teacher can learn a lot mm. when they go back to do a CPD mm -hmm. or when they go back to upgrade. It's also for the teacher to do. It's mm. his only teaching. Is he mm. doing any research, for example? Mm -hmm. That teacher should be doing some research. Mm -hmm. That teacher should be able to do community work in the, go to the community and do something mm. or mentor other teachers. Mm. So all those skills that we want to put together are why the teacher needs to go back, not only to teach Mm. And uh, through crumb work, yeah. and then you relax and no, say, not having too talk. much experience, yeah. but you don't have other desires. Yes. Yeah. And I Andrew, uh, just yeah. before she comes mm. in, um, I think we also need uh, to uh, be cognizant of the fact that uh, a framework will be put in place mm. to recognize the prior knowledge that mm. these teachers have at different levels. Mm. Mm. So even though we are upgrading and so forth, we may need different periods to add on to uh, the level that will put us at par as. Oh. Okay. as graduate teachers mm. nice yeah. yeah that makes a lot of sense so that is uh, exactly what i wanted to mm. say mm. really recognition of prior knowledge is mm. uh, something that uh, unite has to package yes. in order to assure the teachers that that wealth of experience mm. will yes. not go unrecognized mm. but again <coughs> here we are saying that uh, it may not be correct to say that uh, I have acquired these many CPDs mm. over the years, mm. and this can be equated mm. to a qualification. You mm. must I go through the process. Yeah, yeah. 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 A qualification <laughs> is mm. different. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Um, that is very interesting. So that's how the transition is going to yes. be. Yes. 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 So does th this mean that even the offices, the headquarters are going to change location? We won't be going back to Chambogo anymore. <laughs> so we'll have unity offices. Yes. Perfect. But yes. maybe about but Chambogo. Mm. Chambogo is going to manage the examinations mm. for for the, the mm. teachers for another one or two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Until mm. Because Chambogo keeps coming among the tweets. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you see <laughs> for the, this transition. The, the policy gives a framework for the transition. Mm. So until UNITE has been established mm. and UNITE is able to carry on the roles that Chambogo is currently uh -huh. carrying yeah. on, yeah. Yeah. then we cannot just disengage mm. the, the role that Chambogo is playing right now. Otherwise, we shall create a vacuum. 
you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. which will be detri detrimental again to this teaching mm -hmm. profession yeah. Yeah. that we actually yeah. want to rebrand. Wow. Now, this transition is mm. not only for teachers. Mm. There is also the transition for leadership. Mm. That mm. is something that I, I wanted to add on mm. his yeah. earlier submission. Mm. Mm. Because currently we have leaders, maybe in private organizations, in local government, mm. who may ins leaders of educational institutions who do not necessarily have the qualification, mm. the leadership and management qualification mm. that is required as a standard by mm. the policy. Mm. Mm. So for such persons, there is a transition period of three years mm. that has also been provided so that these persons can acquire mm. maybe a postgraduate diploma in leadership and management in order to qualify them mm. actually to lead in those educational institutions. So oh. this is a provision also within the policy. So no one is going to left mm. to be left behind mm. regardless. Mm. All yeah. students are going to be interned. Mm. Professor, mm. so so who will address the issue of teacher motivation? Because from her submission you can clearly see that these are standards we are not willing to compromise whatsoever mm. the case is. But for a teacher to plug into, the teacher needs motivation. Mm. Who is going to oversee that? Yeah. Thank you, Andrew, for that. I, and it's a very important question, mm. and it's a question which is uh, disturbing the teachers mm. all the time. But one, I want to say that motivation is uh, a multi-pronged uh, mm. issue. Mm. Uh, there are different ways of motivating uh, a teacher, mm. and, and uh, uh, the teacher, uh, national teacher policy, uh, envisages that we shall have a framework, an incentive framework. In fact, it has already been developed mm. for the teachers. So it spells out the different ways in which the teachers will be motivated mm. um, in terms of salary and so forth. But more importantly, we have got a career progression. Uh, the classroom track teacher will be able <coughs> to progress, hopefully, from uh, being um, a teacher to a senior teacher to a principal teacher uh -huh. and that comes with an attendant motivation uh -huh. uh, just like uh, you know in, at the university level mm. you can you can be a lecturer and then move on to senior lecturer that comes with emoluments motivation, that yes right. that motivation mm. so that is important that scheme of service mm. that um, the, the the national teacher policy uh, uh, would like to see in place mm. so that should also assure the teachers that if you worked very hard mm. and you did your CPDs, mm. you did your work very well, and you're evaluated mm. by leaders who are competent, mm. then you should be able to move from one level and you should be motivated. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah, yes. So I think the issue of that motivation is, is really... It's, it's, it's clear cut. It's Play clear your cut. role, the system will rewind. Exactly. Mm. That's where we're headed. And lastly, yes, we, uh, we, uh, the... the, the the government has shown a uh, willingness to implement the policy. Mm. And those are provisions within the policy. Mm. So our assumption is that it will support uh, the implementation and the motivation of the stages. So, okay, well, um, what Professor is saying, for those of you who are not following Kinley, um, he's saying that government will need to commit funds mm -hmm to realize this to come to light. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, um, now coming to you, Carol. <laughs> uh, <coughs> you know, at times, I, I, the teachers are, are very critical, but at times some of them could miss out that bit, and I want them to understand that. Carol, as we're winding up, w will government be able to pay graduated teachers? Graduate? Uh, teachers. Yes. Graduate teachers. Graduate yes, teachers. graduate teachers. Okay. Yes, government has been paying graduate teachers mm -hmm. already. Now maybe the number is going the to increase. The numbers are going to surge. That's mm. why I'm worried. Yeah, the number is mm. going to surge, mm. and that causes a lot of anxiety among the members. Mm. But the policy, before it really comes to when the teachers will be graduating and having all that, is going to give government, I, I do believe, mm. enough time to prepare resources mm -hmm. and to get ready. Mm. That's what I envisage. Because if the government has already accepted the policy, mm. has signed it, that is now national planning authority mm. needs to start preparing because for us we've not yet started training yes. but we are saying we are coming in mm. we are getting there yes. so they need to get prepared and i'm appealing to them mm. to start getting prepared that we are going to produce many teachers that are going to have global competition and they are going to be globally competitive nice 
the V teachers who Kenya will want to take and whatever. Mm -hmm. So Uganda has also. <laughs> And, and, and you know the beauty Does that surprise it? you? Even <laughs> without this policy, <laughs> our region has been very much interested in Ugandan yes. teachers. Yes, exactly. Um, when they go in other countries around the region, you find, oh, I'm a teacher in Rwanda, I'm a teacher mm. in Kenya. Mm. Like, oh, mm. so what happened to Uganda? No, I'm an expert this yes. side. Yes. Yes. So without this kind of policy, you mm. can yeah. clearly see that there yes. was a vision on the yes. other side. Exactly. Mm. So government needs to commit on this, and we're praying so much that yes. it does. As we're winding up this show today, um, Dr. Joyce um, Aikoru Asimwe, what could be your, your word to the teaching fraternity? And this does not only go to the teachers, but it goes to even um, business owners, people mm. who own schools, mm. who own institutions. And um, there would be next tutors of those in those institutions. Okay, thank you, Andrew. Mm. Um, my last word actually is tagged to the theme of uh, uh, the celebrations mm. of the Teachers' Day mm -hmm. mm. this year, 2020. Mm -hmm. mm. Because we are talking about uh, teachers leading in crisis, mm. uh, reimagining the future. Mm. With this global uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, I think we have seen that uh, education need to reimagine itself. Mm. Teachers likewise need to reimagine themselves. Mm -hmm. And UNITE here is existing to reimagine mm -hmm. the kind of teacher that we want mm. in the 21st century. So I think this is uh, a role that we must play together okay. with the teachers. Mm. Nobody can actually enhance your status if you yourself is not disposed to enhance your status. Mm. Nobody can enhance your morale mm. if you do not have the motivation to enhance your morale. Mm. Nobody can be a gatekeeper of your own professionalism mm. if you yourself is not a gatekeeper of mm. the profession that you are actually in mm. so for me my last word would be that uh, for teachers we need to stand out mm -hmm. in times of crisis we need to stand up to the new skills that are demanded from teachers mm. within crisis and this can only be done if mm. we reimagine ourselves and we reimagine the mm. education system altogether. Thank you so Thank much. You. That is uh, Dr. Joyce Ayikuru Asimwe, uh, such a great brain in our country. Professor, while yes. we're winding this up, what could be your last word to the teaching fraternity? Um, Andrew, thank you very much. I want to say that we are living in exciting times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As teachers. As teachers. Mm. Um, even amidst uh, COVID and so forth, uh, it has given us opportunities to mm. think about many things, mm. the delivery systems and so forth. Mm. So I would like the teachers to be part of the change. Nice. Because change is inevitable. Change is part of our life, our lives. Mm. And um, we want to assure them that uh, support systems will be created mm. by UNITE to ensure that uh, the change uh, is, 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 is taking them well mm. and that they respond to it well. Mm. The last one is uh, um, when you change the teacher sector, when you reform it, you are indirectly reforming the whole education sector. Mm. Because there's no education system which is better than the quality of its teachers. And the teachers sh should be proud of being teachers. And they should really live up to the expectations of the public. Thank you, Professor. Ms. Kavma, as we're yes. winding up, what yes. could be your last word to the education fraternity? Thank you very much, Andrew. Mm. To my fellow teachers out there mm. and teacher educators, it's our time now. Let's welcome change. I'm asking and appealing to all teachers out there mm. that your willingness is already the job halfway done. Mm. The moment you are willing to change, then you are not pr pressed by the change. Mm. You quickly <coughs> walk through it smoothly. Mm -hmm. But if you have resistance in yourself for change, change then changes you. Mm. 
So we don't want teachers to be obstinate and then the change changes them or throws them out. Mm. But we would like teachers who are willing to go with the, with the, the, change. the, the changes mm. which are positive, mm. the way we look at them, they are beneficial to the teachers. Mm. If they are not aware of how beneficial they are, I'm advising that let them seek for information. Mm. Because the most important level when you are initiating change, one of the important things for change, as Fulan puts it, is that you always have to be given information. Yeah. So they should be given information. Mm. And if they are giving us input, because there's going to be a lot of consultation to our teachers, mm. so they should not worry. <coughs> we are going to consult and mm. we shall be taking in a lot of advice from everybody. But I think Uganda is ready mm. to move on to a better Uganda. Indeed, and we would in like exciting times, yes. like Professor said earlier. Thank you so much, my panel. I can't thank you enough. Mm -hmm. But uh, greatly, I can't thank UNESCO uh, under the Norwegian Teachers Initiative enough and the Minister of Education and Sports making sure that this conversation would come to reality. We have had uh, conversations for conversations for a full month discussing about this policy. Today with me I had uh, Ms. Caroline Akavuma, lecturer at Chambogu University and Unity Secretariat Coordinator. We had Professor Joseph Onyu, mm -hmm. School of Education, Makerele University. And he happens to be the chairperson of the Unity uh, Task Force. And had Dr. Joyce Ayukoru, a senior dean, faculty of education, uh, Chambogo University. And remember that the Teachers' Day, all these conversations, we are in here to mark the celebrations of the Teachers' Day on October 5th. That is coming very soon. It's actually next month. Be a part of this. And I just want to challenge you on the Teachers' Day, from wherever you are, because we're in times of COVID-19, just mention your favorite teacher in school and what did that teacher do mm. it will be on twitter the hashtag will be national teacher policy i'll follow up this on that very day <laughs> tell us what was your best <laughs> moment with your best teacher in your school mm. i'm andrew chiamagero and this show was proudly sponsored by unesco under the norwegian teachers initiative and the minister of education and sports those who have been a part of this conversation online and offline i'm so gratified that you've been a part of this conversation Please share this information with more teachers. And if you're a teacher and you're following this conversation but you didn't understand it more, please go on Google, go to the Minister of Education and Sports website. This information is there and see how best you can plug in. I'm Andrew Uchama Good afternoon.